This morning we're continuing our adventure up the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. It's the first uh, kind of nice day that we've had in quite some time. It has been pretty awful weather, very windy, blustery, rainy, very wet. It's supposed to rain later today, but we're taking the opportunity to continue on a little bit further because we do need some fuel before yep. we run into the same issue we had earlier time. in the year when we <laughs> ran out of fuel. <laughs> That's the plan for today, is pretty much just to get through the town of Burnley yep. and get some fuel at the next marina. And we've spent quite a nice little time just here before Burnley, a little town called Rose Grove. There's some nice services with 14 day moorings, so we've spent just over a week just, <laughs> just enjoying being on the services. We, or we being caught near the up services. with washing like mad couple. Went nuts on the washing. We did a lot of washing. <laughs> <laughs> Caught up. <laughs> we f we filled up with water about three times in that one week period. Yeah. <laughs> Normally we only fill up with water maybe every week, week and a half. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just came through that tunnel, Gano, Gano tunnel. And we were like, oh, we should have filmed coming into it. But we were so concerned with all the rubbish that had kind of like collected around the mouth of yeah. the tunnel. There's all that green uh, fungi or weed uh, yeah, it's or just like whatever. A, a green weed that grows on the surface and yeah. it detaches it. And, and it seems to on. just hold all of the rubbish. So there's so yeah. much rubbish that just keeps getting caught in our prop. And yeah. so we were really like concentrating on making sure the boat was going in the right direction every time we got stuck on something and and we'd forgotten to check the front lights to make sure they were <laughs> working for the tunnel so we turned them on and I quickly shimmied up the side to check the front you just turned them off yeah, turn them <laughs> yeah good good thing to check that they were working which they were thankfully so you can come out now Pixel. come on Pixel. come on there we go
This morning we are continuing our cruise towards Leeds. It is a relatively nice day. It has been quite uh, rainy the past few days, so we kept checking the weather and saw that the next couple of days are supposed to be quite nice. So we thought we don't have to move. <laughs> Why would we if we can enjoy moving in the sun? Yeah. We're heading to the Barrowford Locks today, and that's a group of seven locks that will be going up and through a tunnel, a lighted tunnel. Yeah. So I like the lighted tunnels because you don't have to kind of gauge whether somebody else is coming through. You just yeah, yeah. There's oh, no, green there's light. No guesswork. Yeah. yeah. There's no yeah. guesswork. Yeah. And after we've gone through the tunnel. There are another three locks a little bit further on through a town and we're not sure whether we're going to get that far today and uh, we're just going to just going to see how we go. We haven't yeah. been cruising a lot the last few days so it's nice to be out and about cruising again. Yeah. So we'll just see how far we get. Well, we've done the locks. They were quite hard work. Yeah. Gates were very heavy. Yeah, it took us three hours to get through those seven locks, which was a bit longer than we were kind of anticipating, but no. we're not in a hurry, so it's not really that big of a deal. We're just a little bit exhausted now <laughs> because yeah. they were heavy and a lot of the paddle mechanisms were stiff. So. Very stiff. Yeah. There was hard work. one or two that we couldn't even open. Yeah, we just had to leave them. We did, uh, we did go a little bit slower through the locks because we decided rather than exhausting ourselves running back and forth um, on either side to open up all the paddles, we decided they fill up relatively quickly. It's not that big of a difference if you just open the one side. So we decided just to go with yeah. one side and save ourselves some legwork. <laughs> Now we're heading towards Falridge Tunnel and we should get there pretty much right on time to go through on the half hour when the light is green for our side. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes, 
until you get a good shot. <laughs> Too busy numbing away on some fruit <laughs> to notice a little sign uh, that says that we are coming out of Lancashire and into Yorkshire. And we do seem to be quite high up now, and we're starting to get some really nice views of like the hills, the yeah. Yorkshire hills, <laughs> Yorkshire Dales. Is that what it is? I can't remember. I don't know, but it's pretty. have found a lovely little mooring spot um, we decided not to continue on uh, towards the next three locks that we were kind of thinking about doing today partially because we're quite tired after doing the last seven yeah, they probably took us twice as long as we thought yeah and uh, yeah some of the the lock gates were so heavy. Very heavy. I think I hurt my back a bit. So, yeah. <laughs> so we thought we'll take it easy. Uh, the other reason was normally as we're cruising along, we'll do a quick internet check just to see how strong the internet is. Because obviously we do work from the boat, so we yeah. need to make sure we've got internet for that. Uh, it went over 100 megabits per second, which I think is the best internet I have ever seen on the canal. By far. I, <laughs> like last time I got excited, we were getting over feet, uh, 40, 40 to 50 megabits per yeah. second. That's the download speed, so yeah, that's that's pretty, pretty, pretty quick. <laughs> I did notice for a second that it did pop up to 120. I was like, oh my god. So we've decided that this is a good spot for today and because the internet's so good we're tempted to, to uh, spend an extra day because we were planning on heading off a bit further tomorrow but yeah. we'll just see how it goes if we stay here an extra day we get extra work done yeah that's it so we hope you've enjoyed joining us on this little adventure <laughs> coming into Yorkshire if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye bye